Hey you guys, it's me, Robin, Jake's mom. I'm going to be your mystery reader and I'm reading Frank the Seven-Legged Spider. Ooh. Frank the Seven-Legged Spider by Michael Razi. Frank likes being a spider. He likes making beautiful webs. Ooh, look at that. He likes scaring silly humans. Ah Got him. But most of all, he really likes having eight legs. Eight beautiful, glorious legs. Legs that can wiggle and jump and scurry around. Everything was going great until he woke up missing a leg. Oh no. Where did it go? Did he have it when he went to bed? I barely recognize him. Are you still a spider, Frank? Is he still a spider? Frank doesn't know. Well, that settles it. He has to go find his leg. Of course, moving around with a missing leg takes a bit of practice. Must walk straight. But Frank gets the hang of it and he goes out to search for his leg. Uh-oh. Oh, is Frank's leg here up in the strange tree? No, that's not his leg. Is it here underneath the squishy rock? No, that's not his leg. Is it here in this dark cave? Ew. No, that's not my leg. Frank searches everywhere and still can't find his leg. He goes by the cats and dogs and the doe idea. And he looks all over. What is he now? He doesn't know. Oh, look, Frank's sad. Hello, how, how you doing? Not good, I lost a leg. That's too bad. He has seven legs. Lucky, I'm a spider. I'm supposed to have eight legs. So, our friend Nancy lost an antenna and she became our queen. Really? I suppose I can still make beautiful webs. Um, doesn't it come off? I'm scared. And I can still wiggle my legs and jump and scurry around. That must mean I'm still a Hey, do you want to go see something funny? Oh, oh man, look at this guy. He got got. Look at that. There's spider webs everywhere. The end. Thank you for reading with me, guys. <laughs>